Bark, bark, bark. Coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Milarlovich. Ready? Chocolate, almond, toffee, bark. That's what you and I are gonna be making today. It is so scrumptious, but we have a lot of other scrumptious stuff available. So at the end of this video, don't forget to visit weekendatthecottage.com, visit our website, subscribe to it. You're probably gonna hopefully love this video, and if you do, give us a thumbs up, drop us comments, click that bell button for notifications, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And then finally, when you make our chocolate, almond, toffee, bark, take a picture of it and post it using hashtag Weekend at the Cottage on your favorite socials like Pinterest, the Gram, and Facebook. Okay, before I get started, just to show you how to make this, a couple tools you're gonna need to make the recipe. You're gonna need a candy thermometer and you're also gonna need an offset spatula. This is gonna help you spread the chocolate across the toffee a little bit later in the program. To get the recipe started, we're turning our oven on to 350 degrees and then I have three cups of almonds. I now have them in this handy storage container because I intend to make more of this bark right away. Uh, three cups of almonds on a parchment lined baking sheet. We're gonna transfer that to the oven and we're going to roast our almonds for five minutes, open the oven, stir them up a little bit, close the oven and roast them for an additional five minutes, ten minutes total. When they come out of the oven, grab about a cup of the almonds, set them onto a cutting board and then the remaining almonds, form them on that baking sheet into a long rectangle. You can set the baking sheet with the almonds to the side. Now take that first cup of almonds onto your cutting board and roughly chop the almonds, place them into the bowl and set them aside. So far, so good. Now we're gonna hit the stove top and cook our toffee. I have a flat bottomed three quart saucepan, placing it onto heat, moderate heat. Look at that temperature. Then we're adding one stick of butter. When the butter melts, we're adding one and a half cups of granulated sugar, a third of a cup of water, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, our first of two appearances of salt, a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Stir those ingredients together and now don't go wandering. Stay close to your stove. We're gonna stir those ingredients until uh, the sugar dissolves in the butter. Then attach the candy thermometer to the side of your pot and we're gonna bring this to temperature. It's gonna bubble up. It'll get close to the top, so don't go away. Keep stirring and we're gonna cook for about 10 minutes until the toffee temperature reaches 300 degrees. When it reaches 300 degrees, you know it's a beautiful amber color and it's gonna solidify when we take it away from the stove, stir it up and then pour it over that rectangle of almonds on our baking tray. Just go slow and you're gonna be able to kind of fill all the little bits in between the almonds. Very important, you now need to place this somewhere and let it cool completely. Usually takes about an hour. Once it's cool, we're back at stove top. I have a double boiler. I have a bowl on the top. I'm adding one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Stir until they melt, get nice and smooth, and then pour that on top of the cooled toffee and almonds. Take your offset spatula and just work the chocolate all the way across the top. Doesn't this look fabulous? It looks pretty delicious. Now, sea salt flakes. We're going for sweet and salty, so a sprinkle of sea salt flakes across the top. Remember those chopped almonds? Now we're gonna sprinkle those across the top. Now you have to wait, I'm sorry, but it's just the way it goes. We're gonna wait for about an hour for our chocolate almond toffee bark to cool completely. Then you can smash it with a knife or a muddler or a mallet, or you can break it up by hand. Be generous with your chunks of bark. Once you've broken up your bark, we want you to try some straight away. Pretty good, right? Now we want you to share the bark with your friends and family. If it's the holidays, you can package it up into smart little uh, containers like this, a little tag. Hope your holidays are sweet. To store your bark, airtight container will work, although it really doesn't last very long. This lid comes on and off the container quite frequently, at least it does up here at the cottage because I'm always trying it and enjoying it just to make sure it's delicious. Chocolate almond toffee bark. Hope you enjoy. Until next time, we'll see you again. Mm. Mm. Bark, bark, bark. Mm -hmm. Go on.